Roly the Armadillo is getting set for his checkup. He may not be all that thrilled about it either. Neil Anderson has more from the zoo. Hi, Neil. Well, good morning, guys. We moved from the black bears, and uh, now we're over here uh, with our armadillo. This is a southern three-banded armadillo. This is Roly. And, Doc, what's Roly doing right now? I think he's hiding from <laughs> me, Neil. He's doing what armadillos are famous for. He's in his protective mode. They have an amazing ability to roll up in a tight, tight ball, and they have this firm armored shell which protects them from predators. You know, this gives us another opportunity to take a look. You take a look at the head here. This head and, you know, the way, you know, it's structured and patterned is unique to each and every armadillo. And it's just like a fingerprint for us so that you could actually identify each individual uh, by the look of the, the top of their head. So you get a good opportunity. But you can see how, you know, the legs are tucked in. You can see the tail here. So it's a great defensive mechanism, and I'm wondering how Doc is going to be able to go ahead and uh, do a blood draw. On him. <laughs> <laughs> or much of anything. You know, there's really, you know, it's very difficult to trim his nails. Armadillos are interesting little critters. They actually walk on their front toenails. So they have really robust, long nails that they walk on the front ones. They walk on the flats of their back feet and up on the nails on the front feet. When we get him relaxed down, we'll show you that. But they badly need to be trimmed. But he also needs a good physical exam. We'd like to be able to listen to his heart and check his belly and maybe draw a blood sample. He does get vaccinated for rabies because he is one of our famous program animals. And we do keep all of our animals that are in contact with the public vaccinated against rabies to protect the public. Armadillos have interesting teeth. They don't have any incisors. Uh, they're insectivores, meaning that they just eat little ants and bugs. They're related to the anteaters. But their teeth do grow continuously, and we'll want to be able to go in and look at the teeth in the back of the mouth and make sure that they're healthy, because at eight years of age, he is becoming an older guy. So as you can see, you know, all our animals, they, they go through, you know, annual physicals, and we get an opportunity. It's a great time of year for us to check out some of the animals, especially our program animals, when things are maybe a little bit slower. Doc gets an opportunity to go ahead and uh, really get hands on and, and check this little guy, you know, from really head to head head to tail mm -hmm. uh, in this case and now doc you're going to be putting him in you've got uh, what an anesthesia chamber is yeah, that is, is that what uh, he'll go into and then that'll what you'll be able to go ahead and, and slowly sedate him and yeah. then then you'll be able to get your hands on him yes he'll breathe a little bit of gas and hopefully just go quietly to sleep and then we'll pull him out get what we need done and he should be awake within an hour well that sounds good and roly we're going to go ahead and uh, you might be sleeping in there or not, but you're going to be sleeping here pretty quick. And with that, back to you guys.